Hi everyone, welcome back to Greybeard Media. We're at Anfield. I did promise you a video today. We're going to have a look, we're going to get the drone up, see exactly how many jobs we can find that's left to complete Anfield Road. We're going to try and cover as much as we can. If I miss anything, put it in the comment section. I'm bound to miss something. But yeah, the wind has finally dropped. We're going to fly. Like what you see, click like, share, subscribe. Let's get that drone up. Welcome back everyone. We are airborne. So what is left to do on this stand? We're going to try and dissect everything we possibly can by drone. I will put in photos and pictures along the way. We're going to start second ugly stand side. I think the shutters are down, so there's definitely nobody around. But the main entrance shutters are up though, so we'll start by the Shankly Gates. I think this is the finished product. Let me know if I'm wrong. Even though the tarmac, the one pavement and the other one's paved, I think this is the finished product for the entrance to Anfield Road. Cladding wise, as you'll look right at the top of the roof, it's just a thin strip, isn't it? And a bit to go along the back also. There's cladding on the underneath section, just a small section left to complete. It's going to drop down a little bit more on those windows because I think there's a little bit of work still to be done just above. You can see the holes there. I'm going to drop the camera down. Same again there. There's like a like one little brick cladding or brick itself missing on each. They've taken the plastic off the windows. If you look through, I'm not going to look through the windows because I think there's somebody around. I don't think that section there is complete either. But I'm not certain what that part is, to be fair. So I'm going to climb. Bird's eye view of this area. It does look all complete. Yeah, there's people saying about these tarmac sections. They're only going to be there till the end of the season and then they're going to be either speed ramps or I'm not I'm not certain of the plans on that to be fair. So if that's gonna happen, great. But the road itself is it ready for traffic? I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later. But what kind of system are they going to have in place for it? People say the Shankly Gates looks lonely there now the way it is, but that's how they're staying. So, yeah, there's not that many jobs there, to be fair to, to, to say. So it is looking good. And there, uh, I've dropped low enough. You can just see a tiny bit of cladding to be done there. It's a little scaffolding tower there, isn't it? But I don't think it's leading up to anything. Um, this side of the shoulder looks pretty complete. Um, I dropped the camera down. You can't really see from this um, side with the fence. There's a fence, you can just make it out there, black. I don't believe that's going to be done by these contractors, but that really does need replacing. It's a mess, it's wonky, there's parts of it missing. They want to protect the border, 
that needs replacing, but I don't believe that's going to be done by these contractors. Liverpool FC would have to get somebody in to do it. Ongoing job there at the bottom of the window. You can see all the little metal sections in place. And of course the top section, still a slight bit of damage each side. The ones plug in, fill in and make an even. Carry on going towards the right. I mean, if there's anything on this, put it in the comment section. So I'm looking at them skips, just all materials and that one metal, metal strips and all sorts, and that's just general junk. But everything looks complete here, doesn't it? Landscaping, everything looks boss. Anfield Road is looking how it should be, yep. The ceiling section just above the welcome to Anfield all the way along still needs complete completing and do we know what's happening with that part is it staying the way it is I'm not certain on that if you know the full outcome put it in the comments section I think there's less to even find going towards the right but we'll have a look that window also is ongoing. You can see all the metal strips there too, so they're going to be finishing that part also. For the top section, that was completed a long time ago. The very final job might be a wash down with all that white staining, but that might be the very final job, who knows. One big job, and we're going to go back to because it is a big job. All the doors and barriers are in place there. And the other side is the fan park. And that could be the final job to be completed. Now that the corner is well on its way to being done, I think just waiting all this, the seating to be put in. Maybe full attention will be towards the fan park. Nobody knows how far ahead they are there yet. And we'll go around towards the right. Lamppost still on the roof there. Looks like it's staying pretty good. And that looks fully cladded and complete, isn't it? I'm not sure if this section is the same as the other, other end. No, it's not. It's all complete, isn't it? So we're going to climb. Have a look on the inside. Still I spotted a gap there. Bit more little cladding to do on the top there. Strips. That's another tiny little job. All the cherry pictures and everything are still parked away, so I'm not certain of what's it is getting a bit windy, but we're going to go into a, a quicker mode to fly over and have a look. Um, the job still to be done on the inside of this stand. It looks beautiful, that pitch, doesn't it? Nice and green. Fantastic win for Liverpool last night. Back off a bit. A weak signal already. Two bars. Well, you see the cladding part there that's got to be done. The stripping also. And I think there's a little bit on the other side. Is there? Tiny bit there. Focus on the corner a bit. I'm going to drop down, see where I am. Hovering right above the centre circle. Camera back up. Resuming on the corner. Maybe it's still drying. I don't know how far along it takes for the concrete to set fully. Especially the top parts. But it's just waiting for all the seating, isn't it, now? By the looks of it to go in and then obviously we do not know what's happening beyond that red screening 
I could be weeks, months away, who knows, none of us know. And then the last job I can think of is all that cladding that's got to be done on the underneath the roof section. The biggest part is there. There's quite a bit to be done there. On the other side, it's not too bad. So we'll go out. It wasn't too bad after all. I was waiting for the wind to drop all day. I was out earlier filming at the old Royal Hospital, the demolition site. I think that terrace section is still there in the car park, isn't it? There's all buried off. So yeah, there's quite a few little jobs, some big jobs still to be done here on Anfield Road. Maybe not a lot to see by the drone, but obviously the next few days, whatever, whenever, we'll keep an eye on the corner when the seats go in. And when activity starts again on the fan park, if it's even started, because every time I walk past, it doesn't look like a fan park or anything near one. But that's Anfield Road. And yeah, the videos will continue till the very end. If you like what you saw, please get the like, share, subscribe. The other projects have started. But I'm still Anfield for a long time to come yet with vlogs, projects and whatever has come in. Wherever you are in the world, enjoy the rest of your day or evening. And don't forget to click like, share, subscribe. A lot of you ain't doing it. So grateful if you did. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.